government's hires, not mine, government's. The dispatcher could have got it wrong, you know. She might have been pink in the face and panting. Ah, you heard it loud and clear, pretty girl. This bra and pink panties. Best call of the week. You've definitely never seen her before. Never. Herodine. Herodine. Yes? What about Herodine? Sehr wichtig. What's important? Was ist wichtig? Montag. Montag. Sir. Doctor. You won't get much out of her for a while. Concussion. Contusions, you see. Under the hairline. And abrasions on the limbs. Beaten up? Maybe. I'd like to get her to hospital right away. Give her a full checkup. Sir. Just wandered in here in our underwear. Yes, we uh, <coughs> made haste with all speed. Yes, you would. German, would you say? So, look, uh, we appreciate the call. But why CI5? Herodine. Montag. Was ist wichtig? Was wissen Sie? 12.30. 12.30? Do you know what's going to happen at 12.30? Monday. Sagen Sie mir, was Sie über Haredin wissen. Later, Kelly. Okay, boys. Well, that's why us. There's a meeting scheduled to take place at Haredin Helicopter Base tomorrow, which is Monday. At 12.30. And now you know as much as I do. What kind of meeting? Our cabinet minister, and a top man from an African state. Oh, planning a little coup, are we? Not a counter deal. I know that girl, whoever she is, seems to know about it. Stay with her. Could be just a coincidence. Aradine, Monday, 12.30. I mean, Haradine do commercial stuff, don't they? Yeah. Well, maybe she's meeting a boyfriend there tomorrow. Oh, it's all right for you doctors, isn't it, getting all the perks? I think she took a fall. Maybe she was thrown out of a car. Great and thin. Look like glass cuts to me. Yeah, it doesn't explain Haradine, though, does it? Coincidence. Coincidence. Come on. Oh. Oh. So she's important. Important enough for someone to want her dead. But what else have we got? Why did she make her way to the church? That's a good point. Why shouldn't she? We need some positive thinking, Bodie. All right, then. Let's get down to her bra and pants. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, of course. Got a theory about that, have you? No. Yes. She left somewhere in a hurry. I thought it was the males who jumped out of the window. Yeah, well, that's what the doc said. Yeah. Eh? She fell. Or jumped. I think she might make better sense than you do. How is she, Doctor? I don't know. Concussion, sure. No evidence of sexual assault. Shock. Amnesia? Maybe. Mixed up, certainly. Herodine. Victig. Monday. 
German or Austrian Navy? Swiss. And that's the sum total of our knowledge about her. Not quite, sir. Hops. Hops, you know, they make beer from them. And I know you know about beer. <laughs> I found traces of hops in her hair, so that might mean Kent. Kent, the county of. A place where hops are grown in profusion. Like Munich. Eh? It's got a German accent. They grow hops in Germany, too. Oh. Uh, I never thought of that. You don't have to. I checked with immigration. No one of her description has come through in the past two weeks. So it means Kent. They well, grow hops elsewhere, you know. Gloucester. Yeah, but Kent's nearer London. Could she be met fit to travel? Well, there's no serious physical injury, but... Good. Uh, She'll be in your charge, Kent. Kent. Where the hops come from? You look very nice. Thank you. I shall repay everything. That's all right. It's all taken care of. Thank you. You're very kind. Don't do it, sir. No, we won't. It's just a nice, quiet drive in the country. The air will do it. Hello. Oh, Nanny didn't recognise it. Fine. Easy, easy. Oh, my dear. Oh, he's pushing it, you know. She should be in bed. Yeah, I know. You tell him we've got a deadline to meet, and I mean dead. Bodie and Doyle. Yeah, that's right. Which is which? Uh, Bodie's the incredibly handsome one. That still doesn't tell me which is which. Maybe you were a diplomat. No, no, that I definitely know. Oh, well, that's good. You definitely know something. <sighs> I'm just supposed to keep looking? Yeah, drive her around Kent, see if she sees anything familiar, Cowley's orders. You seen anything? Ah, oh, right. Well, we've got a decision coming up at this junction whether to go to Mingay or Canterbury. Want to see a cathedral? I've seen it. It is tall and magnificent and very beautiful. That's good, isn't it, that I remember that? That's yeah, very good. So, I'm not crazy. Nobody's saying you're crazy. But it is important I remember. And yet, I can't. Perhaps you don't want to remember. Eh? I mean, maybe you're deliberately blocking it out because you don't want to remember. Something terrible must have happened. Yeah, uh, maybe you took a beating. Or a fall. Do you remember falling? 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 Oh, no. Oh, well, never mind. Let's remember something nice, shall we? Like, uh, do you prefer vanilla or strawberry ice cream? Three strawberry cones, please. That was quick. How much is that? Sixty pence? Yep. Hmm. All right. Keep change. Cheers. Cheers. There you go. One problem solved. Strawberry. There you go. Come on. Next one is, have you got a boyfriend? And if so, is he bigger than me? I'm putting you both to a lot of trouble. Trouble is our business. Right, there's a church coming up. Country church. St. Anne's. That's right. That was the name of the church we found you in. It isn't a church. What do you mean? I, I don't know, but... It isn't a church. Well, that was where we found you, St. Anne's. Minge. Didn't you say Canterbury or Minge? Yeah. Minge. Somewhere off the Minge Road. What have you say? Are you getting any vibes? I don't know. Stop here, please stop. Eh? Nice and quiet. Yeah. Do you know this place? You been here before?
I don't know. It's all right, you'll get it. Don't worry. But sure, Mr. Carley said it was important. Yeah, because of Haradine. Now, there's a place you know, isn't it? Haradine. Henry. I promised Henry. Henry who? What did you promise him? Henry. I'm sorry. I don't remember. No, no, it's all right. You got the first name, I think. What goes with Henry? Henry. Chichu. Chichu? Who? Someone. I don't know who. But you promised him something. What did you promise him? Vital supplies. Okay. I promised Henry I would get him some vital supplies. Guns? Ammunition? No, I... I'm sorry. Never mind, it'll come. Hops in her hair. Mm. The forensic man's really laid one on us this time. She's been out there a long time, hasn't she? Uh, hey, excuse me. Do you see if our friend's all right in there, please? Thank you. Well, she can't get out. I checked her back. Yeah, I know. She might have blacked out again, though, might she? She's a bit upset. Have you been upsetting her? No, she's just a bit tired. Aren't you? Sorry, can't be any stronger. You like pubs, do you? Oh, sorry, beer killers. Yes. Yes, I like them. Yeah, good. You've played before. Let's get back to boyfriends, shall we? A good-looking girl like you is going to have lots of boyfriends. Yes, at home. At home, not here. Yes, in London. And, and once in the country, there was a... How you call it? Some little wooden men with a ball. What, ten pin bowling? Bowling alley? No, that we have at home. This was a uh, very simple, a long room, very old. Skittles? Yes, Skittles, that was the name. Four, five. This pub crawl you're on. Pub crawl, I like it. Just give us the details and spurge the jokes over. Three within 17 miles of your last map reference. Another two at 28 and 41 miles. Well, skit lallies are supposed to be practically extinct. Oh, right, give us the details on the first three, over. No, no, not these things. Very simple. Just the bowling. One down, two to go. Let's stop for half a bit, eh? Right? I mean, they might think we're trespassing. Yeah, I'd love to. We're going to get all done by closing time. Thirsty work, eh? I am not thirsty. Just when we're beginning to hit it off. Well? I... It was very like. Yeah, well, they're all a bit much the same, aren't they? This. There was a board. And ein Stück Kreide. Yeah, well, uh, let's go see if something in the pub might jog your memory. Yeah? Great idea, mate. Great. I'm sorry. It's all right, we'll find it.
I am trying. I want to help. Yeah, I know. Well, let's get back to Henry again. Henry Chichu. You know his name? So what about him? Is he short, fat, tall, thin, what? I don't know. Well, you must know. You know his name. Bodhi. Look, we could drive around Kent for the rest of our lives. Do you know that? Yeah, well, it's going to take time, isn't it? Well, we haven't got time. Look, we've tried the soft touch door. Yeah, Come on. She's trying her best, you well, know. She's not trying enough, is she? Maybe she's holding out on us. Have you considered that? What about that, Fritz? You stalling so that Henry Kachu can get on his toes. The next left. Eh? Round the bend, there is a, a house. A white house. Turn left beyond that. Uh, St. Anne's. Same name as the church. Comes from around here, we'll just show her a few locals, eh? In a place you'd expect to hear a dog barking. Do you know this place? Come on, wait in the car. No, don't leave me. You'll be okay. Wait in the car. Come on, out. No, no, please. Is that him, Henry? Henry's choo choo. Her name's Gerda Helm. She's German, 
She's nursemaid to Henry Parker, and he's the eight-year-old son of John and Melissa Parker. It all came flooding back, eh? And how? Three men with stocking masks. It bust in here yesterday afternoon. Yeah, dead man's a gardener. Obviously heard what was going on inside, rushed in, got cut down. So they grabbed Joan Henry and his mother, and she was about to take a shower. Yeah, didn't even give her time to get a bathroom. And what about the husband? John Parker. He's in East Anglia. Sorry, sir, that's all we got. Uh, he's one of these bird-watching freaks, you know, sir. Camera, binoculars, goes away the weekend to East Anglia. Which comprises of the counties of... Uh... A Lincolnshire, Suffolk, Norfolk and Essex. Aye, I know that, Bodie. We've got a description out on him that, well, frankly, could be anywhere. And where did they take her? Oh, she was unconscious most of the time. She remembers waking up in a house, then she got out. How? Oh. Oh, it's a bit hazy, that one, sir. She remembers jumping. Out of a window, if you ask me. No, I think she's had enough, sir. She's remembered all she's going to remember anyway. Aradine, Monday, 12.30. The guys kept repeating it over and over again. It's stuck in her head. And where's the link between that and John Parker, eh? Or isn't one that we know about, sir. He's a director of the Trust and Mutual Bank. He's got no obvious political affiliations. He's got no connection with Haradine. In fact, we've got no clue. Oh. I know the streets are fairly empty on a Sunday morning, but a girl wearing nothing but her underwear. Yeah, well, they must have kept her pretty close. Half a mile away. Well, a mile at the most. Yeah, we'll check it out. No. No, he can check it out. You're coming with me, Bodie, to Haradine. The big wig will take off from the deck of a cruiser and be landing here in exactly 18 hours' time. 18 hours and two minutes, sir. Just bought a new watch. It's a quartz. It's accurate to a tenth of a second. That's one hell of an area to cover. Yes, yeah, 20 square miles. I should think the perimeter's at least 35. Probably on account. Cody, if anyone's going to blind anyone with signs, it'll be me. One hell of a big area is good enough for us. Sir. Yeah, one hell of a big area. I just said that. We can block off the woods and the fields with the town. A lot of rooftops. Yeah, two-story rooms. Sniper's paradise. Ray's O'Hara. Tell him I want a standby task force. We'll maybe have to check out every building within range, room by room. Unless Doyle comes up with something first. Breakfast show with news and traffic reports. It's coming up to 4.45. And for all you early risers, Doyle. Stuart. Well, you're the expert. That's right. Straight on. You must be new. How long have you got? Three years active. Well, I'm in my fifth year. That makes you the new boy, doesn't it? Five years, you must have kept yourself quiet. Well, maybe that's because I work undercover. And I've never asked for assistance, either. You're supposed to be the king of South London. How come I've never heard of you? I heard of you, Doyle. Good things. No one ever told me you talk too much. Bodie. Sir? Cold morning. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, sir. It's empty. Needs filling. Well, there's nowhere open at this time. I regard it as a test of initiative. Success will be reflected in your yearly assessment. Thank you, sir. The bacon rolls are okay here. Yeah? I'll just have a copy. Two coffees, mate, one bacon roll. Okay. Cheers. How much I owe you? Nah, it's on me. <clears throat> or on Cowley. I'll get especially generous expenses, Chip. <laughs> you work with Bodies most times, right? Yeah. I'm going to think it'd be a right pain. Bodies all right. Well, I'm just testing. Loyalty is a very rare commodity these days. If we get into a situation, I'd like to be sure of my backup. 
I'll be there. Yeah, you're OK, Doyle. Your mouth flaps a bit too much, but you're OK. Look, do you want to stop my mouth flapping? No. We'd have to call it a draw. Yeah, anyway, we're not likely to get into a situation, are we? Huh? All bloody night we've been at this. The same square mile, half hundred times, nothing. No, it's what I expected. There's nothing moving. We started too late. Anything that does move is going to draw attention, and these boys we're looking for... Don't attract attention. Right. You'd better go round again. You are cutting it a bit fine. The balloon goes up at 12.30. I know. Look, we're just human, right? We do the best we can. Yeah, it's out of a big balloon, though, isn't it? You ever known a small one? Yeah. I had one once when I was a kid on the end of a stick. Yes, sir. Oh, thanks. What time is it? Uh, the poets would call it a blushy dawn. My new watch says it's 30 after 5 and 20 seconds. Beep, beep, beep. 5.30. Where the devil did you manage to... Initiative, sir. Allied to a certain personal charm, of course. And a very nice canteen bar with a very susceptible young lady. Oh, <laughs> you're incorrigible, boy. Thank you, sir. I trust that won't appear on my annual assessment. 5.30. Nothing from Doyle, I suppose? Nothing from no one. Damn. O'Hara? Standing by. There's a task force up then. Every available man. And it's still one hell of an area to cover. The Craig Street running. Yeah? I remember you now. You were called something different then. McKay, wasn't it? McCabe? Yeah. I used a lot of different names. Yeah, we lost two of our boys on that one. Yeah, sloppy. They were nice enough lads, but very sloppy. Hello? Yeah? Bessie, our friendly neighbourhood junkie, on her way for a first fix of the day. Another time I'd follow her and nail them both. It'd be too late. They don't stroll like that on their way to a fix. It'd be miles too late. She's high and dry already. And I mean high. Yeah? Around here. Why not? Next block? Yeah. Now turn around, eh? Go back down that street again. You've seen something? I don't know. Not sure. Something's bothering me. Yeah, that house. See it? Now don't look. First floor window. Do you want me to stop? No, no, no. Keep moving. Did you see it? Yeah. An empty house blocked up the first floor window. A bit of old carpet. It's not going to keep anybody out, is it? It's temporary. Perhaps done over the weekend. Didn't you say the girl might have fallen or jumped through a window? Four, five. Now, I want two sharpshooters over there. And there, Corrigan, you and your men to ring that area. Williams, you and your crew the other side. Now, I want it sewn up tight. Now, keep your men out of sight. We don't want to make our guests nervous. And what about the town? Bodie's taking care of the town. I feel conspicuous, like some damn convention. Down at Queen Street, John. Yeah, that's what Cali wants, though, isn't it? Show of strength. Never know, might put them off. Yeah, and pigs might fly.
Come on, Murphy. Exercise will do you good. Try and leave somebody left alive, eh? Yeah, the mother and child. <laughs> oh, don't cry. It's all over now. There's a good lad. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm the it was clean. No one else in the house. Down to you, Mrs. Parker. Coleridge of 37, Coleridge of 37. Doyle's located Mrs. Parker and her son, both alive. Fine, so we call it off? No, Mrs. Parker can't tell us any more than the girl did. I would like to thank you. You're all okay, Agatha? Yeah. Henry. Do you know what they've got to stand there? It's a fantastic hospital. They've got a playroom, it's full of toys, rocking horses. You fancy that kind of thing? Yeah! Come along, Henry. So, how are you? Much better. I want to thank you, too. Something a lot more tangible would help. I'm sorry. I've told you everything I know. They came on Saturday afternoon, three men, and you know where they took us. See, I'm trying to establish a link between this kidnapping, the men that did it, and something a lot bigger. I don't know. Perhaps John. Where is John? He ought to be here. He's somewhere in East Anglia now. He could be the link, you know. John? Mm -hmm. Did he ever say anything about African friends or... Business contacts in Africa. No. John is a banker. Well, he may have had some African clients, I suppose, but if he did, he never mentioned them. Any idea where he was going? No. Nope. John just drives off. As you said, he's probably lying in a fen somewhere. I'm sorry. I have no idea where he was heading. I do know where he was starting out from. Sam Goodmead. Who's he? Well, I, I suppose you'd call him a sort of chandler. He sells bait to fishermen, fixes boats, that sort of thing, you know. Well, uh, he's a bird watcher too. And John was going to see him. Right away, sir. There's a thing, Betty. A call from London. Not just the yard, but CI5. Something big. What's here? Got to go to Sam Goodmead's right away. Some big wheels from Norwich will meet me there. Sam can't have been up to anything, can he? Oh, Sam. 
Urgent, they said. You be careful. They probably expect me to jump in my high-powered motor, go screaming round corners, tires screeching like on television. Tell you what, Betty, perhaps now they'll come around to give me a car at last. Find it, then. Not here, but the bloke I clobbered on the stairs. Yeah. I pushed a description around the area. He's been doing some buying. Food, one I was expected. But I don't figure the briefcases. Briefcases? Two of them, and one umbrella. It's a good place to conceal a weapon. But nothing big. Grenades, maybe? Mm. What did you get? Confused. Husband was snatched as well. Eh? Or killed, I don't know, we're still looking. And the guy I went to see in Norfolk, croaked. Well, what's Cowley make of it? Come on, you know Cowley, would you ask? <laughs> Airbird one to Cowley. Come in. That makes three sweeps. What next? Just stay up there and keep your eyes peeled. Three seven. Come in. How's it looking? It's crowded. Got good visuals, though. We're well stacked. Any news? John Parker was snatched. That doesn't make sense. I know. Check all the buildings again. Do you hear me? All units, check again. You heard what the man said. remember anything else. Well, just think, you know, uh, anything, the smallest detail. They hit me. I was unconscious. After that, in the house. Henry and Mrs. Parker were tied up. They had not bothered to tie me yet. They were talking about Haradin, Monday. Two of the men held guns. The Buchholter sat in the corner. Hang on, and... hang on. What's a Buchholter? A bookholder, a uh, clerk, a bookkeeper. You never mentioned that before. What bookkeeper? The small man. I don't know why I call him that. He looked like one, I suppose. And what does a bookkeeper look like? He wore a suit, a dark suit. Yeah, what sort of uh, solicitors, bank managers, and even some policemen? Why a bookkeeper? Because of the books, I suppose. Yes, it was the books. What books? Accountancy books. Two ads. What? They bought two ads. Bowlers. To go with the umbrella, I suppose. There's something else, Doyle. Something you're not going to like. Oh. I found that stuff down behind the pipes of the house. You know what it is? Yeah, ammunition wrapping. Yeah, but look at the size of the ammo. Look, this is your case, right? You better tell Cowley. Cheers. What? What? Three seven. Sir. What's the range of an anti-tank missile? Well, they're getting more sophisticated all the time, sir. Still some on the secret list. An educated guess, Moody. Oh, at least a mile. But it could be a lot more. That was my guess, too. Bodhi, it looks as though that's what they'll be using. It makes more sense than using a rifle. Anti-tank weapons are so incredibly accurate these days. Besides, you don't even have to get near a man, you still take them out. And everyone else nearby. All units, we've just learned that the suspects purchased two briefcases, one umbrella and two bowler hats. Also that one of them may be an accountant. 
That's the sum total of our knowledge about them. Where it leads, your guess is as good as mine. Over and out. You think he's been drinking? You're still an open call, Murphy. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Unusual announcement, sir. It's passed to you because it's now 12.17 and anything might help. Yes, sir. Well, it is bloody unusual. Yeah, very unhelpful. I think we've done all we can. Keep checking those buildings. Big Brother is watching us. Yeah, uh, Big's right. I don't know about Brother, though. I can think of better words than that. Mr. Carley. Mr. Humber. Everything all right? We've swamped the area, task force dimensions, mm. and we still haven't located the suspects. Mm. Mr. Humber, if we could cancel this meeting, there's still a little time. Out of the question. You realize just how long it's taken us to set this meeting up? Absolutely out of the question. We now have reason to believe they've got an anti-tank missile. Can we at least change the venue? Anti-tank? You've not been made privy to the main purpose of this meeting. No. Fundamentally, it's security be provided by us for our visitor in his own country in return for certain favorable concessions. Now, if we have to admit that he might not be safe here, hmm, our visitor would view any change of venue with derision. Derision is better than disaster. Mr. Cowley, you underestimate yourself. I have every confidence in you. Why else would I place all security in your able hands? To ensure that should anything go wrong, it will be my head that rolls. But should anything go wrong and that missile is fired, a great many heads will roll, Mr. Humber. Literally. Yours included. We'll put it to the minister. But I'm sure he'll endorse my view. That building so many times, I reckon the doorman thinks I fancy him. I swear there's nobody in any of these places in Bonafide. Never heard of Murphy's Law, Murphy. What can go wrong will. It wouldn't be being personal. Oh, no. Come on, we've got five minutes. Let's please excuse me. Bodie, bowler hat, briefcase, umbrella. Bodie! Stay outside, mate, okay? Excuse me, where's Mr. Parker? Don't go for the button, darling, and CI-5. John Parker is the director of this bank. Where is he? What's going on? Where's John Parker? May I ask? No, you may not. Just tell me where he is. Why, he's upstairs in the private suite. Is he alone? No. He has the accountants with him from head office. How many? Really, I hardly... How many? See... Three. All right, tell Callie he's upstairs, OK? I'm going in. Open the door. But Mr. Parker let... Just the... open the door! What floor's he on? Top floor. What? And that's what he said, sir. And he's gone in. We'll get after him. Right. Here, about one. Come in. The Trust and Mutual Bank. Tall, brown and white building. Suspects, top floor. Get over there. Block off a shot with a chopper if you have to. Ah, oh, thanks a bunch. My man's already on his way in. All units, trust and mutual bank. Suspects, top floor. Close in.
Aradine Ground Control. This is VIP helicopter. We are three miles to touchdown. VIP to Haradine, we are one mile. We have to do it. I'm hurting my Come shoulder. On, my son. Okay, parking us. The radio out my inside pocket. Press the top button. Three seven control. Three seven control. Seven. Cody, are you okay? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> I got one man dead, one missile, one man on the floor, and Parker's okay. Good man. Good. I think I'm gonna pass out. Pass is right behind you. You hear me, Cody? You hold on. You did a great job, great, but just ten seconds to spare. Ten seconds. Broken my watch. New watch. Broken my new watch. Cody! Cody! Murphy, sir. All okay. It's a wrap. How's Cody? I think he's broken more than his watch, sir. This is Stuart. He wants to congratulate you. Oh, cheers, mate. <coughs> yeah, you did fine. Yeah. Left-handed, too. Yeah, I'm a bit dexterous. We heard. That's not what you think it means. We heard about the watch, too. Yeah, too bad. So, anyway, yeah, uh, me and the boys all clubbed together. Even Cowley chipped in and uh, bought you that. Oh, thanks, boys. It's all right, mate. You've earned it. No, it shouldn't have... What is it? It's a bomb. Oh, I knew it took him, yeah. Oh, I must have cost you a fortune, I think. I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thanks. Bought me a Superman watch. <laughs> Superman or not, you're going to need a lot of help for now. 